Hi and welcome back to Free Science Lessons. By the end of this video you should be able to describe what's meant by structural isomers. And if you're following the AQA spec, then you should be able to describe different categories of structural isomers. OK, I'm showing you here the molecule butane. Butane is an alkane with the molecular formula C4H10. Now, there is another alkane with the molecular formula C4H10, and I'm showing you that here. This is called methylpropane. So as you can see, butane and methylpropane have the same molecular formula, but different structures. Scientists call molecules like these structural isomers. I'm showing you the definition of structural isomers here, and you need to learn this. Structural isomers are molecules with the same molecular formula, but different structural formulae. OK, I'm showing you the alkane pentane. Pentane has the molecular formula C5H12. I'd like you to work out the different structural isomers with this molecular formula. And in each case, I'd like you to name the molecule. So pause the video and try this yourself. OK, there are three structural isomers with the molecular formula C5H12. First, we have pentane itself. We then have methylbutane. And finally, we've got dimethylpropane. Now, I just want to make a point about methylbutane. You may have thought that there are two isomers of methylbutane, 2-methylbutane and 3-methylbutane. But these are actually the same molecule, as we always number the chain from the end which produces the lowest numbers. And in fact, both of these molecules are called methylbutane. We don't need to include the 2 in the name, since the methyl group can only be on carbon 2. OK, now some students will have drawn this molecule as a possible structural isomer of pentane, and they may have named it ethylpropane. This is actually incorrect. Remember that the name is based on the longest carbon chain. In this case, the longest carbon chain is actually four carbon atoms, and we can see that here. So this molecule is actually methylbutane. OK, I'm showing you here the alkene pent1-ene. This has the molecular formula C5H10. I'd like you to work out the structural isomers with this molecular formula. And I'd like you to only look at molecules which are alkenes. I'd also like you to name them. So pause the video now and try this yourself. OK, changing the position of the double bond gives us the structural isomers pent1-ene and pent2-ene. Taking pent1-ene, we can move carbon-5 onto carbon-2. This gives us a structural isomer 2-methylbut1-ene. If we take 2-methylbut1-ene and move the methyl group onto carbon-3, then we make the structural isomer 3-methylbut1-ene. Taking pent2-ene, we can move carbon-5 onto carbon-2. This gives us the structural isomer 2-methylbut2-ene. Now there is one point about this that you need to be aware of. Alkenes can also have structural isomers which are cycloalkanes, and I'm showing you some here. These cycloalkanes are structural isomers of pentene. Now I specifically asked you for structural isomers which are alkenes, and that was to keep things simple. OK, I'm showing you the molecule 1-chlorobutane, and again I'd like you to work out the structural isomers of this molecule. So pause the video and try this yourself. OK, this molecule has four structural isomers. We have 1-chlorobutane and 2-chlorobutane. Rearranging the carbon chain, we can now make two molecules based on methylpropane. These are 1-chloromethylpropane and 2-chloromethylpropane. Now some students may have thought that there's a fifth structural isomer with a chlorine atom now on the methyl group of methylpropane. And I'm showing that here. However, this is not a fifth isomer. This is just another way of drawing 1-chloromethylpropane. OK, now sometimes two structural isomers can have different functional groups. I'm showing you an example here. These are ethanoic acid and methyl methanoate. Although I should point out that you won't see many examples of this kind of structural isomer in A-level chemistry. OK, now if you're following the OCR or Edexcel spec, then you can stop now. But AQA students need to keep watching. AQA students need to be able to name the different categories of structural isomer. OK, in functional group isomers, the molecules have the same molecular formula but different functional groups, and we've just seen examples of that. Chain isomers differ in the arrangement of the hydrocarbon chain, and I'm showing you two examples here. 
And finally, positional isomers have different positions of the functional group on the hydrocarbon chain. And we can see some examples here. In the next video, we look at cis trans isomers.